Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be going over a recurring issue that I'm seeing with uh, both on the forums and the Facebook group um, about why your cut area is so small. Um, so after the update, the update actually increased your speed of your Glowforge, um, especially on the Pro, up to 4,000 speed. So when you have um, manual settings set, it's going to automatically default to that 4,000 speed usually. Um, so if I went and clicked on manual here, it's going to automatically default to 4,000 speed and one power. Um, that way it prevents a fire there if you accidentally don't set your settings. So, to correct some of these issues here that you're going to see, um, if you're new to Glowforge or new to the update and wondering what's going on here, um, when it defaults to that 4000 speed, 1 power, it's going to reduce your cutting area from like probably here all the way down to here on both sides, and then this little tiny box is going to be all that you're going to be able to cut in. That's because this, the speed of the laser increases and it's going to have to decelerate in this entire area to do, and that way it doesn't hit the side of your Glowforge here. Um, so that's the reason why your cut area is so small. I actually made a separate video today on the actual speed differences of this update. So I'm not going to go over speeds on this video. Check that other video out. Um, and if you want to see the differences between the Glowforge Basic, the Plus, and the Pro. Um, so now to rectify this, um, if you have a bigger cut area here, um, like let's say this line is going to be like this big, is just outside this cut area here, you can actually slow down your speed. Um, and if you want to use increased speed still, you can slow it down a little bit, and then that, will, that cut area will get bigger and bigger. Um, so let's go ahead and just drop down to the speeds of the uh, the plus here is going to be 2,000. I believe that's what the plus is going to be um, at max speed. I don't have the plus, so I'm just going off of what I I think is the correct speed there. If that's not the uh, the max speed of the plus, I'm sorry for both this video and the other video, um, but that's what I'm going off of. So let's just assume the plus is 2,000 speed here, um, and we're going to go full power because that's usually what most people use, and it's going to get lighter the faster you engrave. So now, as you can see, your cut area is a lot bigger, but if you want the full size cut area, you're going to have to go back down to your 1,000 speed like normal to get that back. So 1,000 speed is going to be your normal cut area or engrave area. Um, since this is an engraving, it's only going to engrave up to this. If I put this on ignore and then change to a cut here, as you can see, the cut will go all the way to the side. So that's why if you have an actual engrave, it's not going to engrave in that same amount of area. So if I turn this back on, you can see there's a little bit of a lip there. That's the reason why that, that um, area shrinks. So I hope this helped you guys out and I hope this explained what was going on and why that was shrinking. Um, I'm just gonna link this to people who are having this issue from now on in the forums and Facebook group. So I hope this explains it and the reasoning behind it. So uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Be sure to check out that other video on how fast the speeds are and why some of the, the faster update is actually slower in processing. So we'll, t uh, we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks again for watching.